We were invited to this house. Someone died here, but to me it looks more like a birthday party. But it's better like this. We are in Papua and uh, the prices here are just crazy. You know, when I when I say crazy, I, I mean it. But as usually, wherever you go, you can find and uh, meet also normal people. This is one of the guys. He is very helpful and nice. So he, we will just use his uh, his uh, boat tomorrow that is here near. Actually, it's maybe some eight meter fiberglass uh, boat with a 15 uh, horsepower Yamaha. Madrid. This will be more than enough. Actually, we will just uh, give the gasoline. Of course, we will give him the fish, so he will be able to make some money with the fish. But we found a way. Otherwise. It would be just impossible because it would be crazy money because you want to be in the sea every single day. If you get in a place like this and you will of course, especially in Papua because this is a special region of Indonesia, you have to just ask, ask, ask and look for, for normal people because we, we, it was really hard to find someone someone normal here. They all wanted, they have some, some prices in their head. For example, a teacher gets two and a half million rupiah per month, they want four a day for the boat without gasoline and without boat so this is completely crazy to me and to, to, to anyone else but we did it tomorrow morning we are ready to go we'll be here in the same place and go this is the start of our spear fishing today we have to change the engine because the cooling system is not working it got really hot real fast actually we got it just uh, just now but uh, the guy told us so we have to change this this outboard with the with the 40 horsepower fortunately they have another one so they are gonna get it and we'll be ready to go soon <laughs> Okay, we have the floats. New island, new experience, new adventure. When you come to Indonesia, like in any other country, you have to follow some rules. One of the very important rules when you come here is to ask for permission. For permission to do whatever you want to do. Also, if some things like uh, just free diving, taking pictures on the water are granted by law, you still have to, to show some respect to the, to the locals, especially for spear fishing. When, so when you come to the island, you just look for the for the Kapala Desa, this is the boss of the village, and you ask for the for the permission. Usually you will have uh, no problem. It's very nice if you have some presents for them, they will really appreciate it. In case they don't allow you spear fishing, for example, there's not much you can do. You just have to leave and uh, find some uh, some other area. You have to respect their, their decisions. That's why it's very important to be kind to people. Not just in Indonesia, but <laughs> generally everywhere. We just got our permission here. We can go to the sea, we can do spear fishing. We will bring them some fish in the end of the day and everyone will be happy. Let's go. We 
came on the spot. <laughs> this is the kind of, of places we are looking for. So this is a rock surrounded by deeper sea. We didn't bump accidentally in a, in a rock like this, of course not. Everywhere we come, we look for information, we try to confirm this information. This specific rock is nice because it's surrounded by sand. And if you have a big area of sand and then you have a rock, all the fish will gather there. So I will be very disappointed if we don't find a lot of fish in this spot. Okay, so as you can see, Some current. <laughs> okay, Cassie, pull up for the Juga. Okay, thank you, Cassie. Thank you. I said should be good. Let's check it out.
a nice coral trout. This catch is quite unusual. We see them sometimes, but, but not really often. They behave, well, quite strangely, but this one was big enough to be quite uh, confident, let's say. It's, it was really a nice, a nice catch. I'm really happy. The local guys do the grilling and we will just eat. I want to see how they do this. They should be quite experienced but you never know. They already cut the fish and let's go see what's going on. <laughs> 